Yeah, just 15% of the seats in that big building back there were full tonight. But that didn't take away from the experience from a lot of fans who say they gave 100% of their energy out there today. The first cheer of the game long before the puck drop. Wells Fargo Center staff welcomed the first fans at the entrance. Gritty was there too with some confetti as the masked up Flyers faithful moved through the new check-in process. I live in South Jersey. We've always been diehard Philly fans. And once we heard they let us back in, we immediately knew we had to go to the game. The team decorated with balloons and a welcome back message. It's been a long wait since last March. We were here for the last Sixers game before everything shut down. So it's just like first last one there, first one back. So we're really happy to be here. This seating arrangement is on purpose to keep people apart. The mobile ordering system for concessions now in place too and working well thanks to the hundreds of workers who are also now back on the job. Including Vito Cimenti. But having fans back, it's 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 uplifting and it's uh, it's exciting. His boss says there have been a lot of happy reunions tonight. When you don't see people for a year and you say, "Hey, nice to see you," uh, it really takes on some special meaning. The feeling to be back is is it's incredible. The super fans are also enjoying this moment and excited about the rest of the season. It makes you forget what you're going through right now and makes you remember that the Flyers are playing and we're going to get to the cup this year. We're going to win the cup and we're going to bring it back to Philly. So he has high hopes, but I uh, hate to break it to him. They did lose tonight. We'll see what they do going forward, of course. We asked the fans what did they want to do out there tonight. They said they wanted to root on their team, yell when to shoot the puck, and, of course, scream at the refs, which they did all three tonight. <laughs> Rosemary, back to you. Just screaming at the refs? Hey, Drew, that last guy we, uh, we heard you talk to, he said, look, it's easy to kind of get lost in the moment, forget about what we're all going through. On that note, were fans wearing masks? From what you witnessed, did it seem like they were complying with these orders to be in there? Yeah, total compliance from what we saw. In fact, they weren't playing around. They checked you as you walked in and as you were going to your seat. And like I said, everybody had the mask on and they kept them on the whole time until they left. Uh, how things have become uh, small little things in our life are now privileges, I suppose. All right. Thanks for that, Drew. Appreciate it.